I think we need to put into the hands of women methods that they can use to safeguard themselves against, um, against infection. Because even if somebody, uh, you know, is moved out of a poverty level, right. they may still be in an abusive relationship or they may not have choices about who they would have sex with. Yeah. And so if we can give them female controlled methods. So all the research we're doing on the biomedical side needs to continue. So again, redoubled effort. There's some very exciting work happening in South Africa. South Africa can make the most extraordinary contribution in this regard. We have, you know, we have fabulous resources to be able to really move the research field forward. Um, we have communities that are engaged and want to contribute. This is really the time to strike in, you know, in, in the most enthusiastic way to find the answers define the packages, and then get the packages out to where people are. That's very uplifting, and it's really great to hear that we're making so much progress. Um, Lucy, did you have anything to add on how South Africans can move forward um, coming this World AIDS Day? It's a, it's a great question. Um, I think that we, we all need to stand together, and I think that's something that we really need to do and this has, been, this has been something that I think we've been quite good at as a country, is we need, to, we need to follow the evidence. We need to not be thinking about what we feel or what seems logical to us. And, and you look at that when, when you look at the media and people talk about girls and, and transactional sex and sugar daddies. And what, what seems to make sense to people is they, they talk about how this is, this is all about luxuries and it's a lifestyle choice and girls choosing to, to, to have someone so that they can have cell phones and, and nice things and, and, um, and, and look like Beyonce. But what the evidence shows us is quite different. And the evidence says that we need to be providing structural interventions. We need to be addressing poverty if we're going to allow girls to make healthy choices. And that if we do address poverty, then girls will make more healthy choices. Not, not all of them. But I think that, that extends out to many of the things that Linda Gow was talking about. We really need to use and develop really good scientific research to guide the decisions that we make at a national level. I think, I think with this, we have to follow not, not just our hearts, but, but also our heads.